Hi, I'm Jerry Barker, Vacation Home Specialist here in Orlando, and today we have a very special treat for you. We have an interview with Craig Russo, Sales Director here at the brand new Windsor K Resort. Hi, Craig, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Jerry? Super, as always. Nice to see you again. I was just checking our video. We did the same, same video for Windsor Island. Yeah, I and remember. It was June in 2022. Wow. Two years later. It's a shame we did flashbacks a shame we didn't do a, a video for for uh, Windsor West side we could have that's right we could have Can compared them all the, together yeah, yeah compared the wrinkles and the gray hairs there you go <laughs> so as you can see we have a history this is the the third community um poultry community that we've built the first one Windsor West side the second one Windsor Island yeah Windsor Island's now completed Windsor Island yeah huge success at Windsor Island absolutely fantastic resort yeah. and they brought all the good stuff from uh, Windsor Island over to Windsor Cay. Just right. talk a little bit, first of all, about the transfer and, and the similarities between the two resorts. Yeah, so it is very similar. You know, we, um, we started out in the uh, vacation home resort business maybe 25 years ago. Right. And back in those days, it was very um, straightforward, uh, not very innovative. Uh, and obviously, as time goes on and you learn, you, uh, you know, continue to tweak sort of the... Um, the dynamics of the resort. Was that Windsor Hills and Windsor Palms? Windsor Palm? Hills and Windsor Palms yep. were kind of our first entry into the market. Um, then we started to get into Windsor Island, or excuse me, Windsor West Side, Windsor right. Island. You see the amenities starting to be much more robust, the homes being larger, more bedrooms, more bathrooms. Sure. Um, and so um, we've kind of evolved to where we are today, and we kind of feel like there isn't too much more innovation um, on you know the clubhouse and the homes and those things. So uh, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. We've um, you know, tweaked the business model to be very, very efficient for um, the clients and the ultimate end users. So right. it's a much more user-friendly experience when somebody comes in and stays. So uh, basically, and correct me if I'm wrong, we brought the same models over, a lot of the same models yes. actually um, we did. from Windsor at Westside. Yes. We're seeing the same great model. So we have basically the same Correct. floor plans, maybe tweaked a little bit here and there. We we'll changed the elevations, right? We yeah, we tweaked the elevations yeah. a little bit. We made um, some more coastal elevations, which you'll see some um, different siding options and some different colors right. on the outside um, to kind of just spruce it up a little bit. We now have a modern elevation right. with um, you know a fancier garage door and front door. Um, some of them have um, a little um, porch over the um, garage door, yep. and, and but really all of that's on the outside. It's the skin of the front of the house. The right. inside, the layouts are the same. Um, features are the same. Um, you know, again, when something is working really, really well, sure. um, there's not a lot of need, no need to, to, fix it, to right? change it. We don't want to, you know, change something and, and it not be for the better. So, so Windsor Island was the Hawaiian theme, and here at uh, Windsor Cay, it's the Bohemian theme. Bohemian, yeah, kind of Caribbean, you know, very, um, you know, gray, grayish, whitish uh, colors. Um, but yeah, still that resort vibe. Great. Yeah. So um, we are here. This is uh, early summer of 2024 for those yep. of you keeping count, and uh, you started selling when. We started selling about 12 months ago from the Windsor Island Clubhouse. Right. Or, excuse me, from the Windsor Island Sales Center. Right. Okay. And we just literally got all of our model homes and our sales center here at Windsor K open for business uh, within the last 30 days. Right. Okay. With all that said, we have about 300 homes sold. So relative size um, are about the same. From right. Windsor Island to Windsor K. Windsor K is between 750 and 800 homes when everything is all said and done. Yep. Windsor Island was 800 homes. Okay, so roughly about the same about size. About the same size. And you said you're about 200 in? 300 in. 300, okay. So yeah, you're, we're you're 300 in. We're not quite halfway. We're maybe 30, no, 40%. Yeah. And, um, you know, business has been very brisk. I mean, yep. everyone wants to get into the new resort. They want to get in on the ground level. The clubhouse is under construction now. Um, we have about 30 or 40 homes already closed. Right. And, um, you know, we're starting the, a big wave of closing starting in July through the end of the year. So by the end of the year, we'll probably have 200 homes in the resort closed and being rented out. So um, the homes that are closed already, they're already functional. People are staying in them. People yes. are renting them out. Actually, so, we started yeah. our closings in May. 
So probably what's going on right now is people are finishing decorations, they're tweaking everything, getting it ready for guests that yep. are coming in June, July, August, for the summer. which is our yep. busy season, right? Yep. So during this phase, um, this is what happens with a new resort, we go through the various phases. Um, probably the biggest single thing, and you touched upon that a second ago, is the clubhouse. Yep. And then uh, still people want to come and stay because the clubhouse is great, but you know, greater than the clubhouse is Disney, Universal, all the things. So a nice house, especially a nice new one. Yeah. So there's still um, there's still a market for for rentals, even though the resort um, doesn't have its clubhouse fully functional. Phenomenal clubhouse over at Windsor Island. Yeah. Uh, how what what is the projection for having the clubhouse here at Windsor K open and ready to go? And is there any differences between the clubhouse here and the clubhouse at Windsor Island? So the clubhouse here and the club clubhouse at Windsor Island are virtually the same. They're right. very very similar. We just had to tweak a few things um, to um, fit everything onto the site yep. here. Um, but it's still going to have the lazy river, the resort pool, the bar and grill, private cabanas. It's going to have putt putt golf. Um, we enhanced the food and beverage component of it a little bit. Nice, that was good. one of the yeah. learnings that we had is um, we did, did a bigger kitchen, a, just bigger facilities good. inside and out um, because once you're at build out, you have such volume of renters and people wanting drinks and food and sure. you know you got to keep up. Yeah. Um, so the and first, it's, what, it's fantastic over there. It's though. fantastic. The yeah. Windsor Island unit. Yep. The same team that's running that. Uh, yep. community is going to be coming over here and, and running the food and beverage manager is going to come here and help us set up the menu and all of that stuff so um, we should hit the ground running when we open but projection is probably summer fall of 2025 okay so, so about a year from now maybe a little bit more the they're working on it today um, uh, getting ready to uh, pour the slab so the broken ground the broken uh, ground we can see the pipes coming up and they're ready to yep and you'll probably have some photos on your website but yeah they're they're making progress super so we'll we'll, we'll expect to see the clubhouse done approximately next summer next summer yeah uh, which is excellent and then uh, at that point i would imagine phase one will also be complete so you'll actually have a completed section probably. yeah i mean we're almost done selling phase one now yep um we maybe have 30 40 homes left but uh everything is under construction that we have sold right so yeah by um by the end of this year we'll be into phase two. Oh, excellent so what what the the reason why that's important is because if you're buying and you're buying in phase one especially right now um you'll have a complete basically have a completed resort and the way they right. did it in windsor island they had um the east side completed with the clubhouse and people could use that and it was like a fully completed resort and then they were building over on the west side which right. really didn't interfere. It doesn't affect you. Yeah, we try to consolidate all of our selling and construction activities section by section. We kind of break down the phases. We call them internally phase 1A and phase 1B. Right. So right now phase 1A is done. Right. Uh, so the people that bought in phase 1A, they kind of feel like that little section is all done. There's Makes not sense, much yeah. construction activity. We're finishing phase 1B. And then all of phase one will be done, like you said, by the end of 2024, and then we'll be in phase two. So yeah, there's a benefit to uh, consolidating everything into one section so we can just go gangbusters for a year and then be done. Excellent. So that's good news. So if you're buying right now, it's perfect because um, the timing is going to be good because by yeah. the time you get your house done and set, the clubhouse will be in this section will be done. So now is a good time to purchase. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good place in the building buying cycle. Right. So as far as the building and buying, let's talk a little bit about the models, the same great models, but just go through each one kind of generally quickly, starting with the five bedroom uh, townhouse, just right. the size and the dimensions. So but, yeah, we start out with uh, the Castaway townhome. It's a yep. five bedroom, four and a half bath. Um, it does have its own private pool. It's um, about 2,300 square feet. So it's nice and spacious. It has, um, you know, a big open great room and loft upstairs for the kids. Yep. Um, very, very functional five bedroom townhome. Um, then we transition to the single homes, which we have two five bedroom homes. Right. Okay. Um, there are 25 and 2,600 square feet. And then we go literally six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 bedrooms. Yep. Okay. And um, people always ask me, like, what is the most popular home? Like, what's the best seller? Sure. And it's really dependent upon the customer, right? Yep. So every customer has different wants and needs, and all of the products work, work well. I was just a actually having this 
uh, conversation with somebody this morning. They're like, well, what is selling the most? I'm like, well, if you look at our map and what is sold, yep. we've sold a lot of everything. Sure. So it really is dependent on the customer, and we design the plans to meet everyone's needs. So you know, some people want uh, the best return on investment, and they yep. don't have a budget, and they want to go with the larger homes, the 8, yep. 9, and 10 bedrooms. Some people want you know, more of a second slash investment home where they can come and use the property and, and you know, they want to cover all their costs and they're not worried about a certain ROI number. And, and that might be a different home for you. That sure. might be yeah. a smaller home or a mid-size home. So um, it really does depend. Um, we've designed all of these homes to maximize uh, the rental returns and also um, to suit people's needs when they come on vacation. So whatever flavor, whatever size you're looking for, yep. I think that we meet that uh, demand pretty well. Yep, and we have uh, we actually have a web page with all those floor plans on it. I'll put a link below the video for that. So if you want to see the floor plans, yep. basically the um, the fives are quite similar. If I remember right, one of the lofts bigger and the bigger. Yep. That's so one of our five bedroom single homes has a loft. Yep, and one does not. Yep. So, so the five bedroom with the loft also is a five bedroom, five and a half bath. So everything is a suite. Right. Okay. Yep. And um, so that's the bigger of the five bedroom plans. That's called the Lakeshore. Um, and then we have uh, the hideaway, which is a six bedroom, four and a half bath, has a big loft upstairs, yep. master down. And the seven bedroom is kind of a sister plan. So the six and the seven bedroom are the same home. We just add square footage. We have one bedroom and bathroom upstairs. Yep. Okay? That's, that's above the open. That's above staircase. the front door. Yep. Yeah. We bring the front of the house out yep. and we create another suite. Great. Um, so those two are the same. And then we go to the eight bedroom. Now you're jumping up to um, the homes on the larger lot. Uh, eight bedroom, 4,000 square feet, so eight bed, six bath. Um, so just a, a point on that, if you're looking at the map, and we also have a link to the map so you can see what all the lots are, the uh, the larger lots are an orange color. Orange color lots, those are 50 feet wide. Uh, and the smaller lots are the blue. 40 foot wide. And those are the blue color. Those are the blue colors, yes. Yeah, so the blue lots accommodate a five bedroom, six bedroom, or seven bedroom. Right. And then the orange lots, the 50 foot wide lots, are eight, nine, and ten bedroom. So if you see on the map and you see a particular location that's an available lot, then you can know by the color um, what size of home you can put on that. And they're not interchangeable. You have to put right. the house and the lot together. And again, I'll put a, a link to the map lot as well, right. um, so you can see those. That's that's a great point. And then you have, and then you move into the larger lots, which are the eight, nines, and tens, right. which is the Baymont, which I think is the best eight bedroom floor plan of any vacation home. Super and popular. Yeah. It's super popular. The uh, the nine and the ten are very similar, yep. but again, kind of like the set, the six and the seven, you've right. just got to... The ten is an offshoot of the nine. Yep. So in the nine bedroom, you have nine bedrooms, six baths, it's 4,400 square feet, and it has just a ginormous loft. Yes. Okay? And so what we did, and from customer feedback... Is ginormous said, hey, an actual word, or is it just a... That's a made-up word. I just made it up. <laughs> ginormous. Um, but, yeah, customers had said, hey, would, it'd be great if we had the option to use some of this loft space for extra bedrooms. Sure. Because extra bedrooms yeah. means extra rental. So we actually just modified that floor plan so you could either take it as a nine-bedroom, six-bath and have a large loft, or you can do ten bedrooms, eight-bath. So we're able to add one more bedroom and two more baths. Right. So the 10 bed, 8 bath, it's been very popular. In fact, that's what we're sitting in right now doing this video. Point of reference, this is the ginormous loft in the 10 bedroom and we'll, we'll do a little uh, yeah. circular video so you can see it. This is the, the Mickey Mouse themed room yep. of the 10 bedroom Clearwater Grand. Clearwater Grand, yeah. Which so, is the model home here in Windsor Cay. Yep, you can come and visit it and uh, it's an amazing um, uh, model park we have. Great decorations. Touch on that a little bit because one of the great things about uh, Windsor K in comparison to Windsor Island is we actually have a sales center here. We don't have a sales center uh, over in Windsor Island, and yeah. uh, that's a real big talk about that. Just the benefits. Yeah. So of from a from a presentation standpoint, um, when we were in Windsor Island. We were in the garage of the five bedroom home. That sure. was our sales center. Yep. And. It got kind of tight, right? Because uh, we were super busy. We always have large families coming in. Yep. They want to view homes. When you have multiple families, there just wasn't a lot of elbow yep. room. And, uh, yep. and then COVID hit, and nobody wanted to be close to anybody. Yep. And so we said, well, when we go to Windsor K, this is another kind of learning lesson. We're going to build a one-story house, yep. and we're going to remove all the interior walls, and we're going to make offices and a big sales gallery. So when you come, we have about 2,300 square feet of open space for a sales center. So we have nice displays on the wall, we have offices, it's much 
more of an inviting yep. sales experience. Yep. And then that opens out to what we call the model park, which we have uh, five model homes. So we start with um, the five bedroom Lakeshore. Then we have the seven bedroom Seashore, followed by the eight bedroom Baymont, the 10 bedroom Clearwater Grand. And then around the corner here, we have townhome Castaway model. So you can see basic level of every floor plan yes. because the derivatives are very similar. So you know when you come into the 10, this is basically the same floor plan with, with one yeah. bedroom one. And you know what we like to do is start out in the sales center having a discussion with the customer, understand their wants and needs. As we talked about, everybody's different in what they're looking for. And sometimes customers don't really know what they're looking for and they need to see something in order to Absolutely. compare yeah. and contrast and kind of narrow down um, what they're exactly looking for. So that's why it's nice to come and you can see five model homes and you can go from one to the next and determine, okay, these are the things I like or I, I, I thought I liked but I don't need. And then we can help you narrow down the perfect ideal fit for you and your family. Which brings up another great point and it also ties itself nicely into the uh, sales center is your options for changing the homes. Now we know they're, they're, you, one of the things that you cannot do is actually change the physical house right. themselves. But uh, one of the things that the sales center will allow you to do is go through the various options. Yes. Talk a little bit about the, the options that you can achieve when you're buying uh, a new home here. Yeah, so we do have, as Jerry was saying, we, you can't change the walls and modify the layout of the home, but you can select your finishes. So things like cabinets and countertops and flooring. Um, you know, we have uh, upgrades on the cabinets. You can do white cabinets or gray cabinets. Uh, espresso color cabinet yep. so um, some customization there and then flooring is another big one we offer some really awesome flooring options uh, you know vinyl floors have been really really popular especially no, the, yep. yeah they're very durable um, they're great for vacation homes you get you can minimize your carpet areas so we have some different uh, levels of flooring that you can choose um, things like outdoor kitchens we have an outdoor uh, kitchen yep. option where you have a grill and a fridge and a commercial vent hood if you want to incorporate that into your home, you can. Um, so we have, uh, you know, there's a balance in a vacation home as to, you know, how many choices you have uh, versus how much money you want to spend and what you're going to get returns on. And so that's another discussion we like to have um, to understand, uh, you know, is a customer going to be using the home more for themselves? Yep. And does an outdoor kitchen make sense for them and their family? Um, or are you going to rent it more and does that extra amount of money you're going to spend on that, does that... Uh, return what you're looking for or not. Right. Um, but we have a couple of um, those options in the model homes so that you can see them and touch them and feel them and we can have that discussion. But yeah, to your point, Jerry, we, uh, we have a color room, what we call our color room in the sales center now with all of our options and colors. Yep. And then we've tried to vary the models with some different um, options so that you can see them in action, so to speak. Real time, so to speak. In a home, yeah. Yep. So um, we do everything here on site. We don't send you off to a design center. Um, and we can, uh, again, outfit the home and design it within any budget Yep. and make it, um, you know, your own. Sure. Yep. So you do have a lot of nice uh, custom changes. And we'll, t we'll talk about how that gets implemented because I think what I'd like to go over just now, right now, is the contract and go through the process of actually buying sure. one of the homes. So you, you'll come here with your realtor, hopefully it's me, but if it isn't me, you'll come here with your own realtor, you'll meet up with Craig or one of the sales staff. Talk, just talk, talk us through the process from when I bring in the client and we sit down and we say we want to buy this eight bedroom beam right. on, on this lot. What's the process, the scenario and the timeline? Yeah, so first, you know, after we do all of our discussion and we narrow it down to a specific home on a specific lot and we'll know the exact price, there won't be any variation in the price after that you know once we lock it in it's locked in the deposit on a single family home is hundred and twenty five thousand dollars we collect that within 48 hours of us signing the contract um, and then on the townhomes is seventy five thousand dollars gotcha okay and it's just a flat fee that gets applied to your down payment on your mortgage or if you're paying cash it'll go to your balance at the time of closing yep. okay so it's real straightforward um, we sign a contract it's $125,000 deposit on the single home, $75,000 on the townhomes. Yep. Okay? And um, we expect that to be wired. Um, we'll give you the wiring instructions. Uh, we give you a receipt. And then we'll work with your lender, um, you know, giving them the receipts and everything they need. Um, and we go from there. Timeline, uh, it could be anywhere from a couple of months. Yep. Closing up to about six or eight months. So 
we are um, building a fair amount of inventory. Right. Okay. Um, we're finding people want to shorten the timeline that they yep. wait for a home. So um, we probably do 50% homes in process that are right. under construction that you can just kind of pick off the shelf. And um, we put the most popular options uh, in those homes already so you don't have to, you know, change yep. and, and whatnot. And then um, we do 50% what we call to be built homes where you pick a lot and you build the home on that lot and you customize it from the ground up. Right. So, um, again, just depending on your timeline, um, we can accommodate both scenarios. Got it. So you really have two options. You have the option of uh, picking one that's kind of off the peg that uh, Pulte have already uh, set up. They've chosen the options. They've chosen the elevation, the floor plans, and there. And that's obviously further along in the process. Or alternatively, um, you can start from scratch, and it's going to be a longer process because it's further out. It needs to be permitted and all that good right. stuff. But then you can really make it your own. You can choose your own floors, your own colors, etc., right. etc. So that's a kind of two paths yep. that you can go down. Maybe you get lucky in the exact home you're looking for is already in the process, and that will shorten the timeline. It shortens the timeline. Yeah. Uh, or alternatively, if you, if you don't mind waiting, then they'll build you exactly what you want and the, and the specs available to you. So right. that's, that's really the two paths that you go down. Um, you touched upon uh, lenders. Um, yep. One of the things that we know from the past is that Pulte has its own preferred lender right. package. Right. Um, very specifically because it's lenders you work with that know that understand the process, um, right. foreign nationals. Talk just a little bit about the benefits of working with one of the, the preferred lenders. Right. So, you know, um, from our standpoint, uh, we want to make the buying experience as easy as we can for uh, the customer. Okay. Um, so we've gone out over the years and we have developed relationships with um, mortgage brokers and lenders yep. um, that specialize in this space. It's very different than buying a residential home um, and uh, the buyer profile is different. The way you find it, the property is different. So um, we don't, nobody likes surprises, right? So we want to make sure that we're working with the professionals in the industry that um, know all of the different um, techniques in order to get the home from you know A to Z, yep. to closing. Um, so we have those relationships, um, and uh, we can finance most any country, yep. domestic, international, and we'll supply you with them, and you can choose which ones that you like to work with. Um, you can also use your own lender, sure. okay? There's not a problem with that. Um, we're not trying to force you into using a particular lender if you don't want to, if you have a relationship with an existing person. But the builder does incentivize you to use the preferred lenders by offering incentives, right? So. Whatever incentive program we have going at the time, we tie it to using our preferred lenders. Um, and so you could you know, take yep. advantage of that. Yep, of course. Right? And then you can also know that when it comes time for closing, they're going to be prepared. They have to answer to us. Yep. We, yep. we close about 300 homes per year. And so they want to do everything they can to make sure yeah. to preserve that relationship. Whereas when we're dealing with a one-off lender, um, oftentimes it's fine, but sometimes we run into problems. And they don't care so much. They're busy with someone else, <laughs> yeah, sure. right? Yeah. So you just, I want to make sure that um, everyone's expectations, because we're dealing with people flying from the UK or from Brazil or from whatever, and they have to come here, and it's expensive now to fly and go anywhere. Yep. So um, we want to make sure that when they arrive, the mortgage is going to be taken care of. Yep. Well, our team has built a lot of brand new Pulte homes, uh, and we've worked with both the Pulte approved lenders, mostly, I'd probably say about yeah. 80% of the time, 20% um, of the time, uh, the client decides to bring their own lender, and that's fine too. Yeah. Uh, never the problem, and I think one of the things that stands out to me is, is I've known if there's any issue with a lender, I can actually come to you. And right. you can reach out to them directly because the Pulte has a lot of pull, obviously, because they're closing yeah. so many homes. Uh, those lenders want to keep Pulte happy. So you do have um, the builder on your side as well working with the lender. So it's a good yeah. idea to go with that. And if nothing else, at least talk to them and, and yeah. check out their numbers and see if it competes and if it competes and yeah. it compares, then no reason why yeah. you shouldn't. I right? always tell people to call two or three um, sure. you know, mortgage professionals and see what do they're offering. Anyway. Sometimes they have different programs. And yeah. you know we ultimately want it to be the best for the customer. Um, you know, but we want customer service and of course. Um, and all of that to be at a very high level as well. So, and we feel like the lenders that we offer will deliver on on not only having the best best programs, rates, and terms, but also from a customer um, standpoint, they'll um, you know do right by all of our customers. And you also get the new build incentives, and you will get those new build incentives as well if you pay cash, right? Yes. So cash, I respect. Yep, yep, for sure. So that's that's coming in as far as that's concerned. Yep. Now, uh, when you do the contract. 
Um, is that the point where somebody has to choose uh, all of their upgrades and their changes at that stage? Yeah, so we give on a, on a two-built home where you're selecting the lot and we're customizing it, we give you 30 days from the right. time of contract because we have to permit the home and all of that has to be, uh, all the options, upgrades, all have to be um, uh, finalized within 30 days. If you're buying an off-the-shelf home or a home that's in process, oftentimes there's not any changes that can be made because they're, that home is already being built. The finishes have been selected uh, and ordered and so you really can't tweak those. Yep. But yeah, typically 30 days from the time of contract. There you go. So you understand you've got those 30 days to decide um, uh, how you want your property to look and what your upgrades are going to be. What is the warranty um, on a Pulte home? So we have a multi-tiered warranty, okay? So um, starts out with a 10-year structural warranty. So if there's any uh, defective construction for, for 10 years, uh, Pulte would cover that. Uh, we have a five-year water intrusion warranty, so if there was a roof leak or a window leak or something of that nature, five years covers that. We have two-year warranty on all the major mechanical components of the home, yep. and then a one-year kind of fit and finish warranty is what I call kind of bumper to bumper. If uh, you know you move into the home and you realize, hey, uh, this cabinet door isn't closing properly, sure. or I have a crack tile or whatever, we would come in within that 12-month time frame and we would take care of those um, and we have our own dedicated customer service person he comes out does all of our warranty work and um, you would interface with that person and they would take care of you correct so when we represent you as uh, the buyer of a property one of the things we'll do during the construction period is visit the home many times yeah. uh, we do up updated videos because we know you're not going to be here we send you videos of the house getting built um, before closing one of the things that we like to do is actually send out a professional home inspector mm -hmm. who will actually walk through the house uh, and pick up any issues with it at all and then we provide that report prior to closing to Pulte and then the um, uh, the sales uh, or the build manager for the for the house will then go through that have all those items fixed off uh, and then we'll check up on that uh, to make sure that those are all done before we check off a lot of our clients are not actually here for the closing so you really need somebody here right. to go through all that for you um, what we do suggest is as far as the warranty is concerned, as Craig said, you've got a 12-month bumper to bumper. So what we do try to do is either the owner comes right before the 12 months is up or they have the property manager or our team go over there and walk the property and make a list of any items before that 12-month yeah. period. We can then deliver it uh, to Craig's team and they will resolve any issues. So you really got that 12 months to make sure all the kinks are ironed out so that you get an absolutely perfect home yeah, um, after that period. That's the goal of that. I want to finish off on one last thing because it's a question yeah. that people love to talk about and that's the outdoor area and the pool areas. Yes. And um, that's kind of, people always say when, when they're buying a property in, in Florida, they actually buy a, a pool area with a house attached. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and that's the case here. Just um, talk a little bit about the outside area and the upgrades uh, and the pool selections. Also include the townhouse because we've got a great pool yeah. in the townhouse. Yeah, the townhouse is having an amazing outdoor space with its own pool. The pool is roughly 18 feet long by about seven and a half feet wide. It's heated. All of our homes come with a pool. Right. They all come with a heater. Right. Okay, so you have a heated pool in the winter time when you want to take the chill off a little sure. bit and um, you know it's not 100 degrees out like it is now. Right. But um, but yeah, we we try to have open spaces uh, with um, you know pools, jacuzzi. We have a um, the pools come standard. Yep. And then you can add a jacuzzi to any house. Right. But the townhome, you can't. We can't right. fit a jacuzzi on the townhome. So yeah, you can add a jacuzzi to any home. Any of the homes, single family homes, we can do the outdoor kitchen. Like I said, the, you can maybe post some videos sure. or, yep. or photos in yep. the video. It has um, uh, a nice um, grill with a refrigerator, a commercial hood, granite countertop. It's really, really nice. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, in, in Florida, we, we live a lot outside. And uh, when you're on vacation, you certainly want to do that as well. So all brick paver uh, patios in the back, covered lanai's. Everything comes with a screen enclosure, so yep. you know if there are um, you know mosquitoes and things at night, you can keep the sliding glass door of the home open yep. and live in and out, and you don't have to worry about all the the pests and whatnot. So yeah, so the pool areas do come screened, so they're all everyone is screened. Uh, every home comes with a pool. Most of them are going to come with a spa, and yeah. I think when you spec them out, you mm -hmm. spec them out with spa. When as we're well. doing an inventory home, anything yep. that's six bedroom and above, yep. 
we incorporate the cost of the spa into the home. So you're going to get a spa in the majority of the yeah. homes. Uh, and if you want, you can also put an outdoor kitchen, uh, which are beautiful. And you can put those in any of the homes or just the larger homes? Any of the homes. Any yeah. of the homes you can put in your outdoor yeah. kitchen. And that's part of the upgrade process. Yeah. So um, the pools, one of the, one of the questions people sometimes ask is, is, can I make the pool bigger or can I change anything out there? The answer is, is the same with the building of the house. Yeah, it's no, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, we have we have put the biggest pool that we could possibly fit yep. on the outside yep. um, as standard, and we incorporate that into the price. So you don't, um, you know, choose uh, any options as regard with the pool, but we can't change the shape of it or expand yeah. the lanai deck. We get that question a lot, like, can we make the lanai deck bigger? Yep. Again. We bring it all the way up into the building envelope of the home. We got can't it. go beyond that because then you're in the easement and we can't go beyond that. So we're already giving you the biggest option we can. Yes. Great stuff. So there you go. Now you know everything about buying and building a brand new home here with Pulte Homes at uh, Windsor K Resort. If you would like to get any more information, you can reach out to us anytime. I'll make sure all the information is placed on the website. And if you have any questions, I can either answer them for you directly or I can uh, give Craig a call yeah. or a text and get the answer to that question for you. And hopefully, if you're looking for a new home here in the Orlando area, you'll consider Windsor Cay, one of the very last brand new resorts being built in the Orlando yeah. area. So not a lot of choices left. So thank you very much for watching. And we look forward to seeing you, meeting you here at Windsor Cay.